and welcome back to my channel. So I haven't actually posted a video in quite some time on my channel and I just felt like I wanted to film a lot of videos so I challenged myself to do beauty week which is what this video is so this is going to be the first video of beauty week where I'm going to be posting five videos about beauty kind of to do with beauty mainly and that is what this week is going to be so today i'm starting off with a beauty favorites video the majority of items in here are related to beauty or there's a couple of extras in here but this is basically my march favorites which is a little bit late i know so apologies but i just you know i couldn't be bothered to film last week so i'm filming now also i've got these nails on so uh put them on especially for filming these five videos i thought you know i'll make an effort for these videos and you know you can see my little tattoo oh video about my tattoo i got a tattoo if you didn't know it's going to be going up tomorrow so stay tuned in your little seats i know you're buzzing just like me um and also if my hands look orange it's because i faked hand and forgot to wash my hands so uh apologies but anyway without further ado let's get into the video so to start us off i'm going to be talking about the bye bye lip balm plumper so this was sent to me in my march glossy box i have a subscription to glossy box i posted a couple of videos unboxing my february and march glossy box i'm going to be getting one in a few days so you're going to see my april glossy box video very soon but this came in my march one and basically it's from the brand bye bye and it said it was a lip balm and it was a plumping lip balm so a lip plumper and i was very intrigued because i thought you know maybe it's just you know a gimmick or whatever but i do know that some lip balms do really plump your lips there's one from soap and glory which is honestly so good that's the only one i've tried that's actually plumped your lips like actually made your lips look bigger because it tingles this does that a little bit it doesn't do it as much as the soap and glory one but this one also moisturizes as well so it's not a lip gloss like the soap and glory one this is actually a moisturizing um kind of actual lip balm so this is what it looks like it does look very small but this is simply because that you know you don't need to apply that much you literally apply a pea-sized amount so what i like about this is the fact that i put it on before i do my makeup and as i do my makeup it plumps my lips ever so slightly and moisturizes them ready for when i finish my makeup and i put my lipstick on my lips have been quite dry recently which is really annoying so this has really helped them to kind of be less dry my lips don't usually get dry but they have been so i actually really really like this and i will be sad when it's gone also my second favorite is something i never thought that i would buy and this is a real techniques beauty sponge it's a miracle complexion sponge and yeah it's by sam and nick so real techniques and this is what it looks like you know what a beauty blender looks like i'm really sorry it has been used i literally purchased this a few days ago so i've used this like three or four times i will clean it very soon don't you worry but yeah i wet this a few days ago and it's still a little bit wet i'm not gonna lie which is slightly concerning like how do you get your beauty blenders to dry but yeah honestly changed my life changed my makeup game so much usually i would use a brush so i'd usually use this brush here but s since using this i'm absolutely gobsmacked i'm absolutely amazed i've tried sponges before really cheap ones from primark way too hard they don't blend anything in this blends my foundation in so ridiculously quickly i'm going to be posting a video later on this week where i show you my everyday makeup routine and i'll be showing you how quick it is to apply foundation and concealer with this if you have not tried applying makeup with one of these sponges honestly do it so yeah the real techniques one apparently according to some people is better than the than the beauty blender and it's cheaper i got this off amazon and this cost me four pound fifty so go and get it kids next up i have a bronzer now this bronzer is from i think the brand laval i've never heard of it before but this is what it looks like i always have trouble opening this let alone when i have nails so oh there we go so this is what it looks like there is a mirror which is obviously handy and this is kind of the bronzy shade so it's basically like a kind of brownie 
I don't know, like a muddy shade. And I'll show you kind of what it looks like here. It is extremely pigmented. I literally dab my um, brush in it ever so slightly and so much product comes off. I pop it on my forehead, as you can see. I look quite bronze today. I used it in that video that's coming up very soon. And I just really like how quick and easy this is to use because it's so pigmented. It is probably a little bit too dark for me, but it's fine, it's fine, and it works really well. And I think what I like about this is that it's so pigmented. And by the way, it's in the shade Medium Matte. Always get a matte bronzer, kids. Always get a matte bronzer. Then I've got an eyeshadow palette that I wanted to share with you today. So this is the Beauty Glaze Press Glitter Palette. This, I'm going to be doing a tutorial showing you how I got this eye look, um coming up soon later on in the week using this palette so that is basically a review video of this whole palette swatches everything like that that's going to be coming up so yeah I used this shade on my eye so if you're wondering um but yeah that tutorial is coming up I just absolutely love this honestly I've only used it a few times and I'm amazed I didn't realize how you know I'm missing out on something because I thought I've got so many eyeshadows I don't need any more but these are glitters I don't have glitters you have shimmery eyeshadows you have matte eyeshadows these are pure glitters so when you apply them it's like you're getting a pot of glitter and you're putting it onto your eyelids so it, it is very good and very interesting for me absolutely love this it's one of my favorites um palettes that i've actually got and that i actually own because it's really good quality actually and it was very cheap got it off amazon it was literally like seven pounds so yeah the brand is beauty glazed if you're interested but all the information and everything will be coming up in that video that i'm going to be doing just so happy with with this little palette and each shade um is very different from each other i only ever put one shade on my eyelids because you don't want to be overloading with you know mixing them together or anything because that's not how glitters work so yeah very happy with this and that is definitely a solid favorite this month or should I say last month? Finally for makeup, so this is my final makeup favourite. This is the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss and it's in the shade number 17, Let It Go. So it's just a nice shimmery lip gloss. I really do quite like this. I won't show you what it looks like today or could I put it on my lips now? Or would I look ridiculous because I've got shimmer on my eyelids? Oh, who cares? Oh, wow, that's bright. You can see how shimmery it is. It almost looks metallic um, because it's so shimmery, but it isn't metallic, but it kind of looks it. Wow. I just love how you can apply like a little amount of this and it adds so much gloss. Like look how glossy my lips look. Obviously they do have a little bit of glitter in, but yeah, I really like this. So that was from Essence. <coughs> By the way, I do have a cold, so bear with. Okay, now a few kind of body care favourites. Obviously, this still links in with beauty, but this is the St. Moritz Gradual Tanning Lotion. And as you can see, my hands are very, you know, orange, and it's all down to this little guy. Um, I tanned last night. I tanned my neck and my arms and kind of my shoulders. I'm tanning. I don't tan all the time because I, you know, I don't want to, you know, I can't be bothered, basically. But I have been tanning um, over the past couple of days because I'm going to be going out on Tuesday. That's probably going to be the final time that I go out for some time. So yeah, I'm going to be using this little guy here. I used it last night and then I'm going to top it up just before I go on a night out. And yeah, it's just more subtle than using like an instant tan. And it doesn't get everywhere. It doesn't transfer onto anything. Um, I did make a little error with my hand. Just a little bit. Um, but the rest of me is quite tanned, which I like. So this is what it looks like on my arm, as you can see. So it is quite a natural tan. And obviously you can build it up to however you want. So yeah, very happy with this. And I would highly recommend it. And then also a little bit of a body care favourite here. Absolute lifesaver since I've had my tattoo. This is the Body Shop Coconut Body Butter. Again, I got this in my March glossy box. And it looks like this. I've literally been applying this onto my tattoo to keep, you know, looking after it and things like that because it needs that kind of care and this has been really good for that and really good for improving it. I did use it on my face a little bit and it was nice to be moisturising but um, I'm just going to keep it mainly for body care now so yeah really like that. 
I'm talking about tattoos, obviously my tattoo is a favourite. Like I said, I've done a whole video on it and it's going to be going up tomorrow, so um, stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's what it looks like, so I won't show you too much because that video will be kind of more information about that. But obviously that was a favourite, no regrets, so happy with it. Then I've got a couple of things that aren't beauty favourites, but you know, I wanted to discuss. Sorry, my throat's hurting because this is the... Um, fourth video that I filmed today and I've got another one to do. So it's like a food favourite. These are actually from Audi. Now these are sugar-free clear cool mints. They do sugar-free rhubarb custard um, kind of sweets and they do sugar-free like a toffee one and they taste so good. So yeah this is what they look like. They come in this little box and it's just like when you've eaten your lunch and it, you know you want something sweet after. If you don't want to have anything kind of you know you might be on a diet or if you just fancy something a little bit sweet and you don't want to be unhealthy then these are really really good and yeah they're from Aldi so I would recommend and then finally for the tangible items I have this which is some earphones now honestly I'm so happy with these I was sent these by Studio. I did a video for them it's a vlog I will link it down below if you want to go and have a look they are quite expensive they're about 79 pounds which to me is expensive um but oh my god I just I'm, I'm obsessed with them I love them they're wireless as you can see um like you don't need to plug them into your phone you can connect them by a bluetooth and they just fit so well and I've just absolutely loved using them so I will link down Studio's website as well if you want to go and check these out because they're amazing and you can use my code Georgie Car for 15% off this video is not in collaboration with them I just thought I would state that so yeah so happy with these um YouTuber favorite of the month has to go to the Anna edit I've spoken about her many times on my channel but she posted a video every single day during March so that was 31 videos she's my favorite youtuber anyway so I was so excited for March I loved every single day I felt inspired she's just so motivational and she's just heavily into organization and I'm obsessed so I'll link her channel down below if you're the kind of person that likes organization cooking beauty things like that she's very kind of real when it comes to makeup and things like that and then um, so that's YouTuber favourites, TV favourites, I really like on Netflix, I've been watching, um, I watched the series Afterlife on Netflix, that was really really good, I watched the whole series, there were six episodes to the series, I think they'll be coming out with some more, but it's basically about this guy, it's played, you know, acted by Ricky Gervais, and basically he's the main character, he lost his wife to cancer, and it's just showing his life after she died. It is a comedy, but obviously it's slightly sad at the same time, um, but you'll see if you go and watch it, so it's on Netflix. And I think that's pretty much, oh yeah, and also one last thing is a game favourite. I have been obsessed with Heyday, it is a game, if you haven't played it, freaking download it, go onto the app store, search Heyday, download it, you basically build your own farm. I know I sound like a child, but honestly, I'm obsessed with it. Tom's obsessed with it, my friend Jordana's obsessed with it. Honestly, it's so good and it's really addictive and I play it all day long. I literally, I'm living for it. Couldn't be a stronger favourite. In fact, it's probably the most favourite in this video. Um, so yeah, go and uh, check that out if you want to. So that is everything for this video. I hope you're excited for the rest of Beauty Week. Tomorrow's video is going to be a tattoo video. So please stay subscribed for that. So give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe for more content on my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.